Hello there, I'm Natalie and Sleep and I, we used to be in a complicated relationship. Mm -hmm. How many of you are watching this right now because you can't sleep? It's okay, I can't either. In this case, give this video a thumbs up. I won't judge you. I'm gonna be showing you the best sleep hacks to help you fall asleep and get this, 60 seconds. Yep, keep on watching to find out how. Okay, what do I have to get done today? Mm. <gasps> Coffee, mm. oh my God. Oh, it smells like love. All right, let's just pop this in here. Mm, come on, I have places to be, people to see. So while a ton of us gravitates towards caffeinated drinks and we actually kind of rely on things like coffee, being aware of cutting out caffeine by the afternoon is one of the first steps into a restful sleep. Now one study actually found that having any type of caffeine six hours prior to your bedtime will reduce your total sleep, you guys get this, your total sleep time by one hour. Because it is a stimulant, it's recommended to stop consuming anything caffeinated at least four hours prior. Now if you still desire a warm beverage at night, gravitate towards a non-caffeinated tea. My favorite is this one right here. And it has lots of different natural ingredients like chamomile, valerian, lavender, and all of this will help not only reduce stress levels, but calm any anxiety that can keep you up at night. That way you can always rest assured you'll have a restful sleep. Also, a quick reminder that the human body is 50 to 75% water, and for the next five to 10 hours, you won't be hydrating your body. So it's essential to get into the habit of doing this before bed, also so that you're not waking up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. It's also important to get ready for bed, set the tone, take any constricting clothes and makeup off, and as much as you'd like to, avoid the kitchen after late hours. Now, enforcing a kitchen curfew can help you stay accountable. The reason being is before bedtime, you should typically avoid any kind of rich foods, sugars, or anything that will interrupt with your indigestion during sleep, like pizza or tough sugars like donuts that may give us that little sugar rush of energy and then we crash and feel fatigued, as opposed to tired and ready for bed. However, if you are feeling the hunger bug, I highly recommend you to stick to food like chicken or poultry. So for instance, poultry has tryptophan, an amino acid that helps your body make serotonin, which happens to be a relaxing mood hormone, which then helps your body make melatonin, a hormone that controls sleep cycles. So you can definitely gravitate towards those foods or the ones that I posted up on the screen. Some other foods include salads and fish to just name a few. And now your hunger will be satisfied and girl or boy, you'll be ready to fall asleep fast. Oh my god, Natalie fall asleep. Oh my god, I have a math exam tomorrow. And then I have to confront Helga about bothering me in our friendship. And then I have to finish the presentation I have Tuesday. <sighs> It's very easy to get drifted away by our thoughts and our fears of the following day. So the best way I have found to center myself before bed are the following hacks. So you can't just sit there and expect your anxieties and worries to go away. No, no, no. So start by changing the visuals in your mind. For instance, think of a beautiful scenery as opposed to math and all the problems that you have going on, or perhaps a day you enjoyed, or maybe even a pet. My go-to happy thought is always my dog Jupiter because his little drippy eyes and fluffiness always relax me. And before I know it, it's lights out. But even if that doesn't work for you, here's a stress release exercise that's proven to work. Writing down my problems and anything that's bothering me at the moment has always been such a powerful exercise for me. Now, I don't just write my problem. No, no, no. I also write how I can solve it. So for instance, one of the things that worries me at times is the feeling of having no life balance. So I'm writing to start waking up at 7 a.m. That way I have more time for the things that matter in my life that day that need to get done and those that I also want to get done. I'm doing a huge giveaway where I'm giving one lucky subscriber a huge basket of my favorite makeup item. Hey Natalie's outlet lazy sweater, like the one I'm wearing right now, all cute. And I'm giving away a brand new MacBook Air. Ooh la 
voila. To enter it's super simple. You must follow me on all my social media platforms. So make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and be sure to click that little bell down below so that YouTube notifies you of new videos. Guys, we are almost 8 million Audis. Also make sure you're following me on all my social media outlets. They're just Natalie's outlet on Instagram and on Twitter. Give this video a huge thumbs up to show your love and support and leave any comment down below. That's it. It's that simple. I want to give a huge shout out to Yasmin for watching my videos. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Virtual hugs and kisses. So if you want a shot in my next video, be sure that you comment hashtag notification squad down below in the comments and be sure that you are here in the first 30 minutes that every single video goes live. So be sure you click that little bell. So here's a fun breathing technique I learned that can help you fall asleep in, get this, 60 seconds. So this is called the 478 breathing trick. You simply breathe in through your nose for four seconds, hold your breath for seven seconds, and then exhale through your mouth for eight seconds. So I was recently reading that this combination of numbers has been studied to have a chemical-like effect on our brains, some saying it slows down their heart rate and allows them to feel relaxed right into sleep. And as you may know, quieting your mind distracts you from any worries that you may have, allowing you to fall sleep much more quickly. So next time, try out the 478 breathing trick. So this method is actually a military method to help you fall asleep in 10 seconds. So first thing is to be aware of your body language. Relax your entire face, your chin, your cheeks, your temples, anything and everything. Now we're going to scan our bodies to see if there is any tension in the shoulders. So let's just start by dropping those. Now exhale to relax your chest, crack any tension in your body and just stretch a little bit where any other tense areas may be. Now we're going to be clearing our mind for 10 seconds by imagining a relaxing scene. If this doesn't work, try focusing on one color in your mind. Usually black works best because that's the color that you see and just focus on that color and literally within 10 seconds you should fall asleep. Now we're going to be creating a sleeping sanctuary and a place that is just soothing for you and exciting to get to bed every single night. So you may want some nice cozy blankets, some soft lights, comfy PJs like these silky ones, which are my favorite, your favorite pillows, of course, some Fred bed sheets, some fresh linen, and I also like to use different types of gadgets. So for instance, I enjoy a dehumidifier, also some heavy curtains, and anything and everything that will just allow you to feel much more comfortable and in a safe place in your own room. Now a huge mistake a lot of us make unconsciously is combining our workspace, which is the space you should be the most alert in, with our beds, the place that we should be the most relaxed in. So as nice as it is to work from your own bed, it's actually not as effective in being productive. Because your bed is associated with resting and sleeping, but now you are associating it with working and getting things done. Now this created stress in the bedroom is why I highly recommend banning any type of work in the bedroom to avoid a stressful association. So instead, only use your bedroom for relaxing and sleeping. And trust me, you guys, you'll see how easy this sleep hack will quickly change your sleeping regimen. This next hack is one of my personal favorites and works every single time. It's simple as boring yourself. Yep, that's right. If you're watching your favorite show or you're on social media, you are entertained, meaning your mind doesn't want to be bored. So you just keep on watching until you literally exhaust yourself, which does you no good for the following day, of course, because you're going to be so tired. So some quick tips to boring yourself can be, you know, reading a book. Usually no matter how good the story is, your eyes will eventually get tired of looking at a page with letters in them so you can fall asleep. Another mindless activity can be listening to ASMR, such as my old ASMR videos, which I have a ton of right over here, and you can click down below to see more, or some Bob Ross videos as well. I've also done my fair share of ASMR videos, so be sure to check those out along with other sleep hack videos to help you fall asleep, and videos on helping you even wake up earlier. You guys, we're trying to be the most productive and effective as possible. 
So sometimes we have to get a little bit more tactical when it comes to sleep. So if you're waking up multiple times in the middle of the night or perhaps tossing and turning, chances are you're not getting a restful night's sleep. Now, why may that happen? There are a ton of things that can be the reason why. So I recommend some gadgets that may help you out with this. So this is Dyson purifier and fan. It's amazing for creating white noise and also freshening up the room. I personally love it. It just creates like a really nice environment in my room. Also, I really recommend this knee pillow for side sleepers like myself to just kind of help you relax the hips and the spine. I also love my Himalayan salt light that sets the mood for the entire room. And one of my favorites is the Garmin watches that helps me monitor my sleep. It also helps me monitor my stress. And the best part is I also get to know how active I was in the day by knowing how many steps I've taken that day. All of this, you guys, envelops into what makes you fall asleep late at night. So being self-aware of this stuff will definitely help you have a restful night's sleep. Oh my god, did I just fall asleep? Oh my god, these sleep hacks have really got to me. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to check out my last video, it's going to be right over there. For part one of the sleep hacks video, it's going to be linked down below. Highly recommend you to check it out. If you want to subscribe, you can click my face right up there. Be sure to share this video with one friend and send me a message on Instagram and Twitter showing me that you did, and I will give you a huge shout out and follow you as well. Click right over here to watch my last video and click my face right over there to become a part of this family. We are almost 8 million of you guys. You can click right here to shop the awesome merch. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye! Bye.